This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which you do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You a Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Band Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa. Go on, get. He could warn Doucet. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. bad sense about this, man. Richie needs to work this shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking choice. Cause if he don't, we are fucked like yo mama on prom night. For sure, man. For sure. Well, better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. All right, then. Watch your ass down there. and not expect some kind of response. It's Juan Kuhn. Fuck this. After all, the fucking up Richie done could be George's boys. Don't matter if it's Juan Kuhn or 50 Sounds Grease coming balls. from one of them Only goddamn thing you worry about dogs. is one month thing. Horror if you see something. The Molotov! <laughs> yeah. Don't get burned!
dipshit! Stay behind me, boys!
That's the power of what? Place where slaves ran to hide from the world. 
think you can run this through, boy? You think you can come in here and steal my heroin without nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with that! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it! None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please, please. Listen, listen, just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him.